Hi everybody. Okay, so um, real quick, I got a sketch from Creative Scrappers, and that is a blog. Um, I got the idea from um, Carla, who is Capamia here on YouTube. She was making um, a nice album, like a bunch of pages, for um, Ava, who is Enchanted Steph here on YouTube, making them um, for her birthday challenge, and. I have been so stuck on what kind of layouts I want to make and things like that. And then I went over and checked out the um, the blog that um, Carla had used. And I can tell you they have amazing, amazing sketches. There was 255 and I went through every single one of them and I downloaded every single one that I want to do. So I will be doing a lot of layouts. Um, I plan on using um, a lot of their sketches just for ideas and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, my kids are screaming. Um, <laughs> their dad's out there, they're fine. Um, anyways, so they're doing, they also do challenges. It's like 254 and 255 right now. If you get your challenge in by November 1st, you can win $30 to um, Paper Issues, which is also a new site that um, I found because Carol One Happy Crafty Chick won my my challenge from last month, and that is the shop that she chose. So um, I went over and checked them out. So I was like, "There's something up with the site." I love the the sketches and the prize. Um, that Paper Issues is a really cool site. I got to check it out. I haven't actually ordered anything from them yet, um, but anyway, so off to my layout. This is sketch number 254 and I'm going to go ahead and enter it in the challenge and I'm probably going to make a couple more because I really actually loved this layout. Now that I'm done um, yapping, I'll share the layout with you. Okay, so all of the papers that I got um, for this layout are from my Gossamer Blue May kit, which is actually fitting because this picture is from May. Um, so I I thought about using a lot of the blues because um, my daughter's wearing a blue life vest and there's a big story behind this. I actually already scrapbooked one from this trip. Um, this is when we went to um, Great Wolf for her fifth birthday. So I'm going to go over what I did. I'm going to try to pick you up and see if that works. My iPod's kind of broken. So if I end up slipping, I'm sorry. Okay, so on this sketch, um, I'm going to try to in do an insert, hopefully now. I'll be able to insert um, what the sketch looks like so that you'll be able to see what it is um, on the design. Okay, so they have a chevron going across the top here. I just added this little extra element just to add some color. And then there is like a little matting, but it doesn't go all the way across and it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It just goes across the, the top and the side and then a, a bigger matting here. Okay. So I don't know if I'm explaining how I did the sketch very well, but I guess if hopefully I'll be able to insert the picture and you'll be able to see. Okay. On the sketch, there's one arrow and then some speech bubbles. I don't have any speech bubbles. I don't think. I mean, if I do, they're tucked away in some of my kits, maybe. I'm not very organized yet, but my scrapbook room is coming up, so I will um, hopefully in the next few months have everything a little bit more organized. So I just chose to use three arrows instead and put an embellishment of the buttons instead of, um, and I know they're little naked buttons, but I didn't feel like putting twine through all of them, um, instead of the speech bubble. Okay, and instead of, because it had two speech bubbles, instead of the other speech bubble, I put a little envelope, and then I tucked a tag in there. Okay, I titled this The Third Time's the Charm, and um, the journaling will explain that, which I will actually share with you, because it's kind of a cute story. And then I used the anchor, which I thought was really cute. I was really trying to figure out how to use this anchor paper. I put some up here on the tag. And um, also down here, this is another cute part of the layout. Um, it's got this on the sketch um, to put like a little triangle across the bottom there, if you can see that. I thought that was super adorable. And so I just, to tie this in, I put some more of the red chevron and some more of the gray chevron up here. Okay, so um, also it shows the journaling down here. Now I wanted to put the tag up top because I had a lot that I wanted to actually explain um, in this, in this um, photo. 
Um, here I stuck a little sticker, and then this is actually one of the little flags. So I have all of my embellishments here. So this is the bag that I used. I used the polka dot one, and that is from Fancy Pants. And then these are the buttons that I used. These are also from Fancy Pants. And um, this thumbs up right here was one of the tags. And who is this from? Sorry. Um, knee highs and bow ties and I just took the little stick out just because I find it a lot more difficult to to use with the stick um, it's just a lot more work um, this little best trip ever is from the jelly bean soup um, it's at Peapod Peapod parts yeah okay so um, and then I stuck another little button here anyways um but it showed journaling down here and so I drew my lines nice and and soft and then I just wrote because I wanted to follow the the um, sketch as much as I could I wrote this was your third trip to Great Wolf the first two trips were difficult and that um, I just thought was kind of enough just to explain that the third time's the charm and then the the best trip ever ever thumbs up because she did so much better this trip to Great Wolf than she had the last two times so this is a picture when we were down um, and she had been playing in the water and she just come, kind of was taking a break or maybe it was the next, yeah, it was about that time. Anyway, so we were down in like the water park area and um, this tag up here, oops, I'm going to try to switch hands here. Sorry about the wiggling. This tag up here um, is actually a tag that I have. Um, it's just one of those, if you can tell, the like light beige colored ones that you can pick up. I picked mine up at Staples. I think you can get them at Walmart and stuff too. And I just glued the anchor paper to the back just to kind of give it some um, design just to kind of, you know, so it'll match. And then I made this little like little tassel thing here. I thought that was kind of cute. I made that. I've never made a tassel before. So um, anyways, so my journaling, I wrote, you know, the first time we took you to Great Wolf, you were a little you were a bit over a year. It was hard for you to sleep somewhere other than home. You were only slept about two to three hours and you cried a lot. The second time we went, um, we let you stay up until you were too tired to move. And then um, you hopped in the crib that we got for Lacey and you stole her bed after much fussing. Um, you were close to three then. Um, so we decided after the first time to just go ahead and like keep her up late so maybe she'd sleep all night and what she did was she just kind of climbed into the crib and stole the the crib from Lacey who was like maybe four months old at the time sorry about that I'm trying to adjust the camera um about four months old at the time so it was actually kind of funny but she was still very fussy she's always been very opinionated um and so down here I wrote this time you were a lot more fun this was for your fifth birthday so um we didn't have too much trouble this time. She had a lot of fun. And of course it was just me and her and the oldest sister who turned 16 this year. Um, us three were the only ones that went. And so I spent most of my time with her and then my oldest daughter brought a friend. So there was four of us. My oldest daughter and her friend were off running around and me and Bailey did whatever Bailey wanted to do. And so I think that that made it a little bit easier, you know, just, um, usually I have five, kids that I'm running around with and um since her birthday and Brianna's birthday were in May I just brought them too so um I really hope you like my layout I am in love with it I am so excited that um Carla turned me on to that um site I'm so grateful for that and that's one of the things that I love about YouTube and hopefully I can turn somebody else onto that site because it is amazing um I haven't actually joined for the blog spot yet but I will um so anyway, I wanted to share that with you and um, share my little story behind the layout. And I will be sharing any of the other layouts that I make. And hopefully I have that insert. If not, go check it out. It is Creative Scrappers and it is um, sketch number 254. It's one of the newer ones that they had just posted. Okay, so thanks all for watching. Bye.